Lis Frank dislocation. Important considerations. Definition. Important anatomy. Lis Frank ligament. Mechanism of injury. Diagnosis. Deflect sign. Treatment. Complications. Definition. Lis Frank injury is a tarso metatarsal fracture dislocation that involves the medial cuneiform and the base of the second metatarsal. The severity of the injury can range from a mild sprain to a severe dislocation or fracture dislocation. The Lis Frank dislocation can be purely ligamentous injury or bony injury or a combination of both. The metatarsals are usually dislocated dorsally and laterally. The condition could be missed. It may result in progressive foot deformity, dysfunction, chronic pain, and arthritis. Important anatomy, Lis Frank ligament, the oblique interosseous ligament, Lis Frank ligament, is the strongest ligament. The region is stable because the bony architecture is connected to strong ligaments, especially the Lis Frank ligament. The osseous stability is provided by the Roman arch arrangement of the metatarsals, and the Lis Frank ligament stabilizes the second metatarsal to maintain the mid foot arch. The Lis Frank ligament is between the medial cuneiform and the base of the second metatarsal. And we have the keystone configuration, which is the base of the second metatarsal, fits into the mortise, which is made by the medial cuneiform and the recessed middle cuneiform. Mechanism of injury, usually an axial load on a plantar flexed foot. Diagnosis is done by a combination of clinical exam and x-rays. Clinical presentation could show mid-foot pain, plantar ecchymosis, tenderness on the dorsal aspect of the mid-foot. When you see that clinical situation, you need to suspect Lis Frank injury, even if the x-ray is negative. The flex sign is a small avulsion fracture at the medial base of the second metatarsal. It represents an avulsion of the Lis Frank ligament. The diastasis between the first and second metatarsal of more than 2 mm is considered Lis Frank injury. The injury may be subtle and can be missed. So you will need to get a standing weight-bearing x-ray if the injury is suspected. Compare the x-ray to the other side. Treatment. If you have a purely ligamentous injury, the treatment will be early fusion of the first and second tarsometatarsal joints. Ligamentous injuries to the tarsometatarsal and intermetatarsal joints resulted in a worse outcome following open reduction and internal fixation than Lis Frank injuries that involves fractures. Ligamentous Lis Frank injuries will give a better result if they are treated by primary arthrodesis. If the Lis Frank injury is treated by open reduction, internal fixation, it will result in a higher rate of secondary surgery and a lower functional outcome. Anatomic reduction is important if the surgeon selects open reduction and internal fixation. If you do open reduction and internal fixation for a ligamentous injury, the patient may have persistent pain and arthritis. 
Close reduction and percutaneous spinning does not give a good result. Complications Post-traumatic arthritis and altered gait is common. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.